Moving out. When the European settlers arrived, they needed land to live on. The First Nations peoples agreed to move to different areas to make room for new settlements. Hit X to doubt. This is trying to draw a comparison between elementary school history books and high school history books. How do you even teach little kids about history? The fellows and I listening to the radio in 1941. Let's get it. Oh. Oh. And our defense facilities at the oh. capital of the Philippines. Bro, this the is killing my vibe. This stupid announcement interrupts me from shazamming it. How people think the cold conflict was fought. Lots of missiles pointed at the air. How it was actually. This was a hockey game gone incredibly wrong. It's the Soviets versus, of all people, Canada. That's like the one instance they will not apologize. They do get pretty aggressive in their natural habitat. I was in Czechoslovakia. And rumor had it their coaches weren't feeding them after every game as a form of punishment. The Russian coach wasn't feeding the Soviets? Why am I not surprised? Damn, this is like the original world star right here. I'd watch a lot of hockey if this happened more often. Promise you won't cry? I promise. Out of thousands of Mesoamerican books and codexes, only 20 are known to have survived the present day, meaning a surreal amount of information regarding these civilizations have been... Uh, this one always hurts. Is this like the burning of Alexandria, except the Western Hemisphere edition? I really didn't want a sequel to that. 8th century Baghdad versus 8th century London. Ah uh, yes, scary place over here, wasn't it? 20th century ba- Oh, versus 20th century. London. Uh, well, hey, uh, maybe every 1200 years they'll switch back and forth. The UK versus France. France is monkey. But wait, there's a bigger monster. And that, of course, is the German Empire suddenly arising in 1871. Now you two are gonna be friends. How much you wanna bet this is kinda what's gonna happen in the movie? Like, there's gonna be a greater enemy. Like, they're not gonna actually fight for that long. They're gonna have to overcome some bigger, batter force. Making your surrender speech in standard Japanese? Nah. Making it in classical Japanese, in which the vast majority of people don't understand. Ancient solutions to modern problems. Hirohito knew what he was doing. What? Another one? You're descended from the sun goddess, this person. He likes this one this time, but he doesn't like your country was bomb with the- oh. Should have known we can't refer to Japan without this or anime coming up. Ooh, ooh, the industrial revolution to the factory owners. Wow, this is great. The industrial revolution to the factory workers. That's something that's kind of funny talking about that in school. I remember there is so much emphasis on how great this whole thing was. Unless, of course, you like uh, keeping all of your fingers and limbs. But besides that, I mean, really, you know, further progress. Developing country becomes a democracy. America, that's great. Developing country elects socialist leader. America. Freedom music stops. <laughs> you what, mate? I don't know why the Americans all of a sudden adopt a British accent, but I guess maybe that helps them colonizing countries. I don't know. At some point, it does get a little old and a little sus. Hey, bro, can you... Let's... Let's just... Let's just stop. Why don't you keep on painting? I know you're focused on getting into art school. Beautiful piece. What was the inspiration? Profit. Wow. Imagine if we start doing that one day, we're just filling art galleries with uh, our weird ass maps. Man, I'm about to become a millionaire. No, no Germans, you cannot defeat me because I possess the person you care about more than anyone else in the world. Thick mustache man, unless you've somehow kidnapped me without my knowledge, I think that's impossible. Oh, this took me a second. This is referring to uh, Stalin not caring about his son. Stalin, I think, wanted his son to go oof. Hilter watching his troops get within 30 kilometers of Moscow. I'm ready, I'm ready. Hilter in Fuhrer bunker, hearing that the Soviets stepped into Berlin. Is Gary the snail Ava Braun here? Seen nice straight line borders on a map as a kid. That sounds nice. Later, learning why those borders are straight lines. Yeah, they weren't really thinking too much about the consequences of those straight lines. Unless you're talking about the west coast of the US. State borders can be straight lines. It's, it's probably fine. Would you interfere in Mexico and establish a client state? UK? No. Spain? Never. France? Maybe. UK and Spain just look... What? Weird how like the French were our homies in getting our independence in the US, but our friends to the south in Mexico probably don't feel the same about them. Americans making rockets, Soviets making satellites, Fidel making super cows? Super cows? What? Oh, that is an old reference that I completely forgot about that. This video, 2016, Sam Onella Academy. Oh man, it's been a while. We got Bill Wurtz to come back. Maybe we can get Sam to come back. But yeah, uh, super cows. This is an old one that I never fully understood before, but I think I get it now. Um, yeah, Lincoln wasn't 
the funnest. The Disney movie, the German fairy tale, the Germanic myth. You think the fairy tale is bad? Look into the myths. These Germans were psychos making up those stories. Or were they stories? Japan, who tried to control Vietnam. France, who tried to retake Vietnam. Vietnam, who kicked out both Japan and France, and in a span of 20 years, now in the midst of becoming communist country. USA, looking to maybe intervene. Hmm. You know, these other two art pieces were nice. This one's just blank, though. I wonder why. Don, please stop fighting with inanimate objects. Giants don't exist. Prepare yourself, Sancho. The windmills are giants. So that's referring to this Spanish book that was made in about the 17th century, and this is actually considered one of the greatest literary works ever written. Sadly, I don't know of this story because I'm an uncultured swine. But I guess that meme is referring to tilting at windmills, which is an English idiom that means attacking imaginary enemies. Western imperialists with Asian people, um, wait a second, pan-Asian movements, they're gonna call for help. Japan comes in, wait- Wait a second, Japan, that's not the right Wait, Japan, Western imperialist, huh? Pan-Asian movements, huh? Wait, how did we get here? Imperialism under the boot of the US and the UK versus people's imperialism under the USSR and, and China. Yay! I wonder how the Democratic People's Republic of Korea feels about this. Real reason why Garfield hates Mondays. Date of oofing, September 19th, 1881, which was a Monday. He knew it was coming all along. He tried to give us a warning. I've tried to block him out of my mind ever since they started making like really terrifying posts of him. It's Monday, John. I hate Mondays. Are you okay, father? You fell off your chariot pretty hard. Helen, Siege, what on earth are you talking about? Anyways, King Agamemnon just gifted you a wooden horse. Let's go check it out. No, wait. No, no, no. Can you believe if they just burnt that wooden horse down? We probably wouldn't have viruses to this day. I don't know how many people know about the Trojan horse virus, but it's a dumb joke. USSR. NATO being created to fight the USSR. NATO. Can I join? NATO? Um, no, no. This is a pretty good tactic. Also kind of depressing though. It makes me kind of feel bad for him. Britain sticking with a constitutional monarchy since 1688. France going from monarchy to republic to empire back to monarchy back to empire that that seems to be a theme a theme with one of their neighbors as well germany did something similar but in the last 100 years germany was like a 12 year old doing the political compass sparta versus athens oh no there's a bigger enemy macedonia damn these two definitely have no shot against that the ww2 movie starter pack no straps on helmets no 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 german symbols obviously not gonna show that frag grenade equals fiery explosion enemy can't hit any main characters unless it matters to the plot everyone has these two weapons drill sergeant officers are either complete pricks or zero compassion or perfect role model. I was trying to find this fucking one where it's like, when you're in Nam, but all the highest paid actors are in the other helicopter, it's not gonna go well. Germany in Polish history books, Russia in Polish history books, Sweden in Polish history books, pretty much all of Poland's neighbors in Polish history books. I would love to see what it's like to sit in on a Polish history class. It doesn't seem like a fun place to be honest, but I'm curious. Maybe, maybe there's jokes. Maybe people are lighthearted about it. Never ask a woman her her age, a man, his salary. Homo sapiens, what happened to the rest of the homo species? Do we know exactly what we did? Like, did we hunt them? People from Pompeii live next to active volcano. Volcano erupts. What? That's kind of depressing. I don't think they, I don't think they expected to happen what 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 happened four out of five people enjoy gang beatings well look at that us four have sticks and quebec you do not britain suppresses ireland for 800 years irish people stop it britain no irish people revolts what have i done britain really is kind of like the darth vader of history in, in a sense at least at the end they you know helped a little bit by throwing the emperor slash germany down that massive hole princess diana exists british press in the 80s and 90s who Ooh, man, I didn't know where this one was gonna go. This could have gone a whole lot worse. 100 years ago, rich people. Everyone else, oh, okay. Now, rich people with their horses and everyone else. Again, they're just reversing. I want my horses back. Chinese warlord, another Chinese warlord, yet another coming in to finish it off. Summary of China, honestly. I made this, says heathens. You made this, says the church. Some old tradition, church thinks about it. I made this. Oh no, the heathens are gonna copy strike, you guys. The Netherlands in the rest of the world, kind of terrifying. Never really thought about that, but kind of. Netherlands in Europe, bro, I'm literally vibing, blub glub. I mean, the Dutch kind of just like that to the Indonesians though, weren't they? I mean, Japan really liked them. The Roman army, the Roman navy versus the Roman air force. What trash. No one talks about this enough, but man, like the Romans just 
garbage in the sky. Russia extending their influence into Central Asia. Great Britain going all the way around Africa to do the same thing. Isn't that why they created these weird borders to separate Russia who had all of this and then Britain who had all of this? It's like a nice neutral zone. Oh, what a conflict. Denmark versus Canada. Denmark lost snaps bottles and Danish flags. Canada lost whiskey bottles and Canadian flags. Oh, is that the little thing they did for that rock in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, I just learned about that last week. It's like an island that has exchanged hands for like several decades. This place in 52 BC, you got surrounded. Surrender, you fool. Frick you, reinforcements are on the way. You're finished. Can you build two massive 11 mile walls to protect us in a month? We will only need two weeks. Roman engineering. I knew they loved building roads, but not this too. People just love walls. Spain fishing in the Americas. They're keeping all of their stuff. The treasure fleets in this bucket. British pirates come out of nowhere. Sit right next to them. Oh, right right after that. Uh, they definitely both did this though. Being a pirate always sounds fun for a split second until you dig a little bit deeper into it. Europe, give me some of that land and resources. Africa and Asia, they're not for sale. I didn't say sell me. I said gimme. Oh, yep, they did. You know what? And now they legally own it. The French are on the phone. UK sleeps. Tell them I went out. The Germans have invaded Belgium. The Belgians are in trouble. I forgot about all the ships that exist between the UK and Belgium. Kind of wholesome. I if they weren't drawn in such a gruesome way sometimes. He has kept us out of the war. Oh, that's Woodrow Wilson, 1916. So that was a lie. Yeah, this, uh, this age like milk. Roman Empire. Beautiful. Wow. How majestic. The Holy Roman Empire. Okay, did you even try to put it together? I mean, I will say that is, that is actually kind of impressive too, though. All warfare is based. Man, it's crazy how many things this guy has said that's just so relevant to this day. Me, what are you doing? Daughter, playing tea party. Me, that's nice. Daughter, throws teapot and pool. I freaking hate taxes. Ah, uh, yes, I would love to know her opinion of the Redcoats. Persephone and Hades had the only healthy relationship in Greek mythology and kidnapping was a normal part of marriage back then. Hades is actually a stand-up guy. Boom, throws that paper away. People who think Hades equals Satan. I don't know anything about Greek mythology, so don't trust what I have to say here. It does sound like Zeus was pretty bad though. Argentina, when the British task force arrived at the Falklands. You're trying to kidnap what I've rightfully stolen. Seems like a touchy subject still to this day actually. They called them flying tigers because they had shark teeth painted on the planes. I don't understand that either. Damn and flying sharks sounds pretty cool too. French conservatives after the fall of Napoleon reject democracy. Return to monarchy. Monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I sound like a barking dog. When a teacher is discussing about history related topics, but you've already watched history of the entire world, I guess, on YouTube, just give this guy an A. Don't even show up to class. You, you know it all. Ford was founded by a bad person. Yeah, well, so was Nissan. Volkswagen just... Just don't say it. Volkswagen. I love how it's not even controversial. Like it's just known and people don't even talk about it. It's almost better than being stuck in just like a gray area. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty traumatizing. This is like those pictures of like the presidents after being in office for four to eight years. Kind of scary actually. When you're a goose and see strange men nearby, so you honk and accidentally alert all of Rome about the group of Gaulish warriors launching a sneak attack. I guess they then treated him as a hero for the rest of their life. Sacred geese of June. Do you know? Do you know about this story? When your French girlfriend tells you to treat her like a queen. All right, don't mind if I do. Get in the guillotine. Hilter predicting the Soviets would surrender before winter 1941. The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. Well, I actually disagree. I think you're kind of bad at a lot of things. Except taking L's. I guess pretty good at that. Thanks to the February patrons. France doesn't exist. Rumel 57. I'm about a nut. The Glen Council. Thick Boy 3000. Stormtrooper 501. Rawl C Tree. Aryan After Hours. Hobsnitz. Polovsky. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Mac. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Fool San Nick. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Any Keaton. And Ballin' Like Star.